Hi guys, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you an easy and simple method of automatically mounting your partitions and hard drives on boot. So if you've used Windows for a long time, one thing you may have gotten used to is when you insert a flash drive or if you have multiple hard drives installed in your system, they'll all be automatically assigned drive letters. For example, you'll probably find your Windows installation partition will likely assign the letter C, your DVD drive, if you've still got one, the letter D, flash drive the letter E, and so on and so forth. So when you first switch to Linux, you'll find that things are done a little bit differently. For starters, there is no letter system, and instead, drives will be mounted as folders in either the media or the mount directory. Now, technically, the media folder is used for temporary storage, such as for flash drives, and the mount is for permanent storage, such as for another hard drive. But for the sake of this argument, let's just say they serve the same functionality. One other thing you may notice by default is that Linux will only mount the partition with the operating system installed on it, which means if you want to access a second physical disk or partition, you will first need to mount it typically with a file manager. For example, if I click on my Windows 10 on my file explorer, it will now create a brand new mounted folder in media slash Ryan. There you go, from within here, I can have access to all my files on my Windows 10 installation. So obviously at this stage, everything's been done manually, but we can install a small application called Disks or GNOME Disks from your distributions repository. For example, in Ubuntu-based distributions, the following command will install disks sudo apt install gnome disk utility. So the interface of disk is straightforward. On the left, you have a list of all your physical disks, and on the right, you will have how each physical disk is broken down into partitions. For example, my SSD with Windows 10 installed on it has several partitions, but the one we're concerned about is the largest one. So you can click the triangle button, and that will actually mount the partition, same as how we did it before, but we want to permanently mount this on boot, the way you do that is you click the gears and cogs icon, go to edit mount options. Next you want to toggle off the user session defaults which will allow you to edit the settings. The only real two settings you should be concerned with are the mount at system startup and the location of the mount point. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to change this but I tend to just leave it as default. Once done, click OK at the bottom and the next time you boot up your system that partition will now be mounted on boot. Now the alternative to using GNOME Disk is to manually edit the fstab file, which in my opinion is not very user friendly. And on my particular setup, I use this method to permanently mount my second SSD, which is where I store all my recordings and rendered videos for this channel. Now one final thing just to note, if you have a dual boot with Windows 8 or Windows 10, by default when you shut down Windows, it will not actually shut down the system. Instead what happens is it will actually hibernate the system so that Windows loads up quicker next time. The downside to that, of course, is that it means that any hard drives attached to your system, excluding the one that Linux is installed on, will be locked as read-only. Now, luckily the solution is simple. All you need to do is go into the power settings of Windows and disable fast startup, not to be confused with fast boot found in BIOS. So with that, you have a GUI method of configuring disks and mount points without messing about editing a fstat file. Either way, thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now!